Imputation in genetics is the process of filling in missing genotypes in a DNA data set by comparing the known variants to a larger reference panel of sequenced genomes. But does imputation really work? To put this to the test, I've chosen a case study from Melanesia, specifically a DNA sample from Bougainville. This is an especially interesting population because of their deep and unique genetic history, which makes them an ideal candidate for testing the accuracy of imputation methods. For this project, I started with Reich Lab's HO dataset and converted the Bougainville sample into a microarray style format using Plink. The problem was that the conversion produced a very low quality file with poor SNP overlap, making it nearly useless for predicting health, traits, or phenotypes. To see if I could rescue this data, I decided to try imputation. Using Beagle and 1K Genomes Reference VCFs, I imputed the missing genotypes. Then, to check accuracy, I compared the imputed results with a high-quality version of the same sample that I generated from raw fast Q files downloaded from the European Nucleotide Archive. The results were surprising. About 90% of the genotypes ended up being completely identical. I ran three versions of the same sample through my trait predictor. One was the original file that I generated with Plink. This is the true but low quality version of the sample. The second was the FASTQ conversion, which is the high quality and true version. And the third was the imputed version. This is the high quality but experimental version of the sample with predicted genotypes that don't always correlate with the reality, although for the most part they do. According to my trait predictor, the Plink convert scored Pamrid phenotype, which is obviously incorrect. The high quality real sample was predicted to be Australoid, which is likely accurate. The imputed sample was also predicted to be Australoid. Regarding predicted eye color, the Plink conversion was way off, predicting the sample to have light brown eyes. This inaccuracy is due to the extremely poor coverage of this sample. The high quality real sample scored dark brown, while the imputed file scored medium brown. Regarding predicted hair color, we see the same trend. Both imputed and real high quality samples agree on the result. Regarding skin color, the real high quality sample scores medium brown, while the imputed file scored light brown. The Plink conversion scores white, once again due to its extremely insufficient coverage. When it comes to hair texture, the Plink and imputed files both suggest kinky hair, while the high quality ENA file suggests curly hair texture. Nose shape is another part of the puzzle that imputation got right. Both the high quality ENA file and the imputed file agree on the sample having a snub nose shape. Regarding coloring related variants, unfortunately even imputation wasn't sufficient to determine the genotypes for blue eye haplotypes 2, 3, and 4. When it comes to coloring related variants, it seems that imputation has consistently predicted the sample to have more light pigmentation variants than it did in reality. This is the reason why the imputed version scored light brown skin and medium brown, instead of dark brown, hair. Imputation correctly determined that this sample doesn't carry the Melanesian blonde hair variants, that it is a warrior, that it has higher D2 receptor density, that it has high odds of autism, that it is lactose intolerant, that it has low odds of cardiovascular issues, that has high odds of epithelial cancers, that it has low odds of autoimmune disease based on HLA genotypes, that it has intermediate homocysteine levels, that it doesn't carry risk variants for colorblindness, and that it has intermediate odds of obesity. Imputation seems to be very successful here. The imputed file mostly matches the real high quality file in its traits. Moving on, imputation correctly determined the CLTCL1 genotype in the sample, correctly determined the SCN9A genotype, implicated in pain tolerance, and correctly determined the genotypes in the HFE gene, otherwise known as the hemochromatosis gene. Imputation correctly determined that this sample doesn't carry risk variants for familial Mediterranean fever. Moving on to the HLA gene. Considering that absolutely no relevant information, besides one variant, was present in the Plink conversion, it is absolutely crazy how accurate the imputation was. Out of the nine SNPS that were present in both the imputed file and the high-quality ENA file, but not in the Plink convert, there was only one mismatch. The imputed file failed to detect risk variants for two rare conditions. Perhaps there was not enough data for that in the Plink convert. The imputed file matches the high-quality ENA convert when it comes to allergy variants. Moving on to highly polygenic conditions, 
I implore you to pay attention to how close the imputed and high-quality ENA convert are on the leukemia, hemoglobin E disease, age-related macular degeneration, rheumatoid arthritis, ADHD, and stroke predictions. Looks like imputation indeed works. Although when it comes to Alzheimer's, there is a big mismatch between the ENA sample and the imputed sample. Moving on to biomarkers, predicted LDL cholesterol and HDL cholesterol levels were exactly spot on and identical in the imputed and ENA versions of the file. When it comes to height, the imputed file was way off. Seems like something went wrong there. These inconsistencies could be caused by dislinkages or poor sampling of melanesians in the reference VCFs used for imputation. Finally, when it comes to predicted ideal diet and exercise routine, the imputed file correctly got the ideal diet, a diet that includes more grain than meat, but also has a high fat content. However, the imputed file deviated from the high-quality ENA conversion when it comes to ideal training type, incorrectly predicting agility as the ideal training type for this individual. Thank you for watching. You can purchase this sample in 23 and me format from the link in the description. In the description, you will also find links to my tools and services, which include imputation.